At the beginning of this year, at CES 2022, I met Okai team, and I had the chance to test two super cool prototypes, the scooter and the off-road carbon e-bike, that are scheduled to be released this year with amazing performance and a very big price tag. Okai is a well-known brand on an international level that has been focusing on developing and expanding the micro-mobility sector since 2006 with various cool electric scooters and vast fleet of electric bikes to address the last mile commuting. Today, we are looking at the new Okai EB50 Ranger Fat Tire 1000 watts electric bike. This model has a new frame design with some pretty sweet features that I have not seen in any other electric bike so far. It is embedded with an LCD touch display that can be customized with various designs. The screen is well visible in the daylight or night. I like the screen integration into the frame and look at this front fork. The way it's connected to the frame, it turns smoothly and it looks like it's one piece. Nice lines, feels futuristic and is tapered from the stem all the way down to the seat post. Feels like a motorcycle. Seamless transitions and customizable lights on the side of the frame, it also supports NFC unlocking and app control. I already managed to scratch the frame, but the paint job is superb. I like the blue and the white lines, it just pops and it's super nicely done. I like the grips, if you look closely, the transition from the rubber to steel is so smooth, it looks like a one piece, and you have this hardware that allows you to set the desired angle and secure it, while testing, it helped me increase comfort and reduce pressure in your hands. Very futuristic compact console with this orange touch power button. Very cute, I really like this uh, design. Not too wide handlebars, mechanical Tektro levers. That looks a bit less innovative and don't really fit with this modern screen, this cool console and the script designs. I would appreciate it more and it would feel so much nicer to have hydraulic slogan brakes or even Magura brake levers to better match this modern parts. We have 26 by 4 inches massive off-road tires that increases comfort, well covered by these plastic fenders, the front suspension has a lot of travel and it's adjustable, super soft, solid build and comfortable. This model comes with a rear hub 750 watt reliable Bafang motor that outputs maximum 1000 watt peak power. The frame is aluminum alloy, comfortable for my height, I'm 6'3 and 215 pounds. The seat post is long enough that will accommodate shorter or taller riders. I like how the frame transitions from the wide to narrow to the seat post and look here in the back how the rear triangles are structured so differently with the brakes positioned inside the triangle. I have not seen on the frame nor website the option to add a rear or front basket and I think it would be helpful to have one. I like the relaxed back seated position, feels comfortable on longer rides. We have a Shimano drive, good quality shifters and chain, double sided chain guard on the front sprocket, cadence sensor that engages quickly on the half of pedal turn. The bike has three speeds and a maximum third speed, it takes off quickly with a lot of torque. You can feel the excessive power and the maximum speed and it's super fun to ride. Top speed advertised 20 miles an hour, I managed to pedal comfortably without pushing too much, too hard, 22 to 23 miles an hour. If you push harder you can pass that speed and reach 25 to 26 miles an hour, but at that level you feel the limitation and there's a regen kicking in and the speed controller slows you down a bit. Range. Advertised 45 miles, but take a look at this awesome feature. This is the first bike that actually has this, so look at this. First speed, 42 miles. Second speed, 36 miles. And maximum speed, 29 miles. Now it's adjusting based on the power output. Based on weight, it's gonna fluctuate. I'm 215 pounds, so I'll probably get maybe half of that, maybe close to 20 miles. But it'll be interesting to see how much I can squeeze out of this battery. And this is a very nice feature to have, so We'll see how accurate it is. Thank you, much. All right, guys. So there's no mileage showing here, or at least I don't know how to play with this uh, menu and see how much you covered. But on this bike, we have three miles when it started, so it's 15 miles in range, and I still have 21 miles left in the battery based on my pedaling, my weight, and the speed, and the battery is 62%. So we covered 15 miles so far. So this thing is pretty accurate. So 15 miles and we have 
more than half battery so this will give like more than 30 miles in range and it was showing 36 when we started so on the I think on the third gear that's that's uh, not super accurate but it's pretty close and it does calculates everything for you so that's pretty cool all right so I didn't use my GPS today we covered a lot of range for uh, entire day since morning so this bike track 31 miles here we have 36 percent left and in third gear I can get 10 more miles in the second gear 13 miles and in the first gear 15 miles so I'm actually surprised I thought this bike will get more range and actually turned out that we have still 36 percent battery left so you can definitely get 40 miles in range or over 40 miles depending how you assist terrain and weight so pretty cool I think pretty cool results on uh, this bike well done okay this massive tires increase the comfort especially off-road and gives you more control this model is powerful enough to tackle extremely climb and effortless on hill climbing the app is nicely designed and offers various functions including anti faff and NFC option the front light is positioned at top, has this interesting design. We have the PCB and the LED driver positioned at the bottom and the reflector curves the light from the bottom to the top to the front. So this light, it's so compact, it's so small, but so powerful. Let me show you. Look at the side detail, super cool. And look at this light in front, it lights up so much. It's almost like 35, maybe 50 meters in front of you. And it doesn't blind you, but it's so powerful. And the side light is so cool. All right guys, so this is the key. Very different, unusual shape. And what's cool about this, when the bike is off, you just, oh, so come on, let's. Oh, there you there go. We go. Have to the light keep it turned longer. on. It turns on. And uh, we tested the range. It's pretty accurate. It's pretty good. But this is how you open the, the battery. So you have to come on this side. You have this uh, little door and it's uh, magnetic. So this stuff is like Apple thing, magnetic. You stick it in. You flip it. And then the battery comes out. And you, ch you can change it. You have a separate battery, right? Yeah. But this battery gave us so much range. 15 miles on 60%, that's like amazing. If I get 18 miles on half of the battery, 36 miles with 215 pounds, this is really good. So let me see if I can take it out now. No. Oh, there you go, I have to push it out. So that's the battery, let's see the capacity. So it's 14.7 amp hour, 690 watt hours, so it's not... 48 volt battery, 47, 40, yeah. 48, why for 47? That's weird. Yeah. So, uh, it's uh, heavy, but it's not 20 amps. I was expecting 20 amps for the size frame. So it's not super big, but gives you so much range. And here, you can... Oh, this is the waterproof cover, so you can close here. To charge it? To charge it, yeah. So you can charge it on the bike, or, or you can outside. charge it outside. So, nice little door. So, pretty cool... Uh, battery and yeah it's it's not that big it's compact so we put it back overall if you look from far it's a similar 26 inch fat tire electric bike that uses the same Bafang drive and batteries like many other e-bikes brands coming from China but once you look closer there's so many new features they will not see on any other higher-end electric bikes. Cool frame design, higher quality paint, the front fork integration looks and feels special, unique and modern. The screen integration, the touch option and customizable variety screens with extra options, mini console and the grips scream quality and are super nice to the touch and feel high-end. The battery is removable and can be charged inside or outside the frame. The charger is 2 amp an hour, total bike load 330 pounds. The key is so unusually cool designed and looks like a folding micro tool, like a small folding knife. From the distance, it's another fat tire 26 inch electric bike. 
but when you get closer, there's so many interesting changes that make this bike feel special and interesting to ride. The side ambient lights are kind of cool and could be useful in the night riding. I like Okai approach to electric bikes and this bike definitely feels special, it's very interesting, comfortable, has plenty of power. It's a new approach to e-bikes and I like how they did this and executed this new model. I hope other brands are following and bring more innovation. This was the new Okai Electro bike. If you find this video informative, smash that like button and share this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.